Crown Jewel, November 5th, Saudi Arabia, is my match. Yeah. Roman Reigns, you are the head of the table, but brother, in every industry I ever do, I am the table. <laughs> yes! This has got to be in the promo Joe vid or Botchamania vid. Yes! He said, I am the table. Yes! What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at it again with another video. So we're going to check out some of the highlights from WWE Crown Jewel press conference between Roman Reigns and Logan Paul. I'm going to cut up the video for you guys. I'm not going to show it in its entirety. I'm going to cut up the video, getting some of the best parts from this uh, this press conference, hyping up Crown Jewel this year. But I appreciate all the love and support, man. Let's get right into this one. Let's see what was said. It's amazing to be here in general, but amazing to be here um, this weekend in a big fight weekend. Shout out to Sammy being there. In a weekend where Canelo and Triple G will go to war tonight, where 60 plus thousand people descended on Cardiff. Clash at the Castle, easily one of the best pay-per-view events this year, bro. That's, it has to be in your top five as some of the best pay-per-view uh, events. Um, for the WWE calendar year so far. It's fucking so great, man. Logan Paul! Logan Paul! Logan, Logan Paul chance. Wow. Logan Paul! <laughs> Roman, like... Fucking cheer for this. What? Sucks! <laughs> November 5th. In Saudi Arabia, when Roman Reigns will take on Logan Paul. Wow, that's a real thing. For the undisputed what? WWE Universal Championship. <laughs> that's a real thing. That's a fucking real. I'm. 2022 is probably the most interesting year we will ever have seen in wrestling in quite some time. This year will go down as the most infamous, one of the most infamous years for wrestling ever. You saw the whole AEW debacle. Vince McMahon being relieved of his duties, retiring from WWE, Triple H taking over. Logan Paul actually being hired to be a wrestler in WWE, and now Logan Paul having a main event with Roman Reigns for the titles. He's only, I think he's only had two matches. One at WrestleMania, and then I forgot the, the pay-per-view, the match he had with The Miz. I forgot what pay-per-view that was. I can't even think of it right now. I think he's only had like two matches. That's insane. It will be a match like no other. It wow. will be a spectacle like no other. Logan Paul is a cultural phenomenon. Got more than a hundred million social media followers. According to him and his crew, he is the number one podcast in the world. That's a fact. I thought it was Joe Rogan's podcast. I thought it was Joe Rogan's podcast was the number one podcast in the world. I, I don't know. Let me know if you got the stats on that, y'all. Logan Paul is on a god tier level. Oh wow! <laughs> Sammy hit the. Oh, okay there, Triple H. And when it comes. When it comes to the WWE... Well, I love that Sammy is just chilling with the bloodline. Look at all that gold. He's just... All, he's the only one that's missing some gold, bro. Sam, the fact that Sammy is really... He's, he's, he's a ooze, man. I love it. WWE, <laughs> his dedication, his passion for this. I can tell you this. Everything that he has done... In the short period of time that he's with us, he has earned my respect. 
Dude and can go in the ring. Easily. He has worked his ass off for this. Yeah, you, I, you can act. He's I only can. had a few matches, but I think he's blown people away in that short period of time. I will give him that. That's the only, the only thing I could somewhat hope for in this match because I do think Logan Paul will give us a good match. That's the only thing I can say. I don't think it should be happening, but I will say that he will probably give us a good match because the dude can actually go for someone that's not a traditional wrestler to actually be doing this at the level that he's doing it. I, I can't, I can only give him props and we will only see where this goes for him in the future. It's about Roman Reigns. Yeah, the tribal chief. This is about God tier in our business at a whole different level. Yeah. I can say this with all certainty. There is no one in this industry even close to touching the level that Roman Reigns is on right now. He's, he's, he's in another he's mode. He's performing on a whole different stratosphere than everybody else. He's been champion for more than two years, unheard of in this time frame, in this era. Mm -hmm. He is a multi-generational talent. He is one in a million. So I can say the this. In the world. <laughs> in Riyadh, Saudi Arabia at Crown Jewel, I cannot wait for this event. Will Roman Reigns continue to do what Roman Reigns does and show the world at a whole different level? Or will Roman, or will Logan Paul Get in that one shot. Will Logan Paul do the unthinkable? <laughs> like how someone said, no. <laughs> I don't think nobody believes Logan Paul's winning this match. There's no fucking way Logan Paul wins this match. If Logan Paul is the guy to end the streak, I ain't gonna lie to you, I'm gonna be fucking sick to my stomach. <laughs> I'm gonna be sick to Roman Reigns. Either way, it'll be a spectacle like you've never seen before. With that, I want to give the floor to Roman Reigns. Ooh, all right, Roman. Let's see what you got to say, man. You're the tribal chief, Chance. He's running your mouth. <laughs> I love you, Roman. Las Vegas. <laughs> you know what to do. <laughs> Acknowledge me. <laughs> Ooze. Everything Triple H said up here is true. You suck. Except that. <laughs> <laughs> he said everything else Triple H said up here is true. You suck. Except that. That ain't true. <laughs> Fucking love him. I'm the greatest of all time, kid. <laughs> and I was a kid, dog. Yes. He said, I'm the greatest of all time, kid. Shut up. Know your role and shut your mouth. <laughs> I love now, it. I'd be lying to you if I told you I knew all about Logan Paul. Um, I've been given the, the statistics, the facts that I need to know from my wise man here. <laughs> There's no doubt that this guy's done a, uh, a hell of a job, but it's very simple. He's had two matches. Yeah. I've been the champ for over two, two years. years. Come on. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> when he first came to the, to the WWE, I thought it was a great idea. I thought it was a great opportunity for both sides. Mm -hmm. This man has over 30 million followers, and what he's doing right now is he's bringing them all to his tribal chief. <laughs> because before this happened, uh -oh. he was in a good place with the bloodline as well, because we're gonna allow him to do what he's been doing. Logan, you could be on any show that I main event for the rest of my career. I appreciate you and the following that you bring. You could be the third match on any card, any single day. You understand <laughs> me? 
But the fact that he wants to step up to the main event, ladies and gentlemen, let me teach you a little lesson here. Uh -oh. You need to crawl before you walk. Walk before you run. Mm. And once you've figured out how to run, then maybe you'll be able to fly with the tribal chief. Bro, he, he is, this is great. I want to see more of this. He is in his bag. He is in his bag. This is the Roman we've always needed and deserved. They just had him so heavenly scripted. This is him. This is the guy that knows what he's talking about, believes what he's saying, and it comes off believable. I love every second of this. I love this, bro. So we're going to do your little boxing thing, this, this Logan Paul thing, this spectacle. We're going to have fun with you for a few weeks. But when we get to Saudi Arabia, we're going to smash you. Yeah. Woo! Love it. And then after that, it's on you to figure out how to rebuild this castle, how to put it all back together. Because I'm not going to go easy on you. I'm not going to treat you like you're in your third match. You are in the deep end now. You're in the water with the biggest shark to ever live in the WWE. And that's, that's Saudi Arabia. I'm going to show you what God mode really looks like. Logan, would you care to respond? I, I would like. Sir. I want to see what Logan has to say here because he just. He did his thing on the microphone here. A lot of Samoans. A lot of Samoans. Wow. This is so cool. First and foremost, I do have to give a thank you to the WWE and Triple H for trusting me. I think I've uh, proven myself in this industry and it's an absolute honor that I wouldn't say proven. You've you've exceeded a lot of our expectations. There's only two matches. You gotta you gotta really put in some time for us to be like, okay, I right, it makes sense for him to have a world championship title opportunity. I know this is for Crown Jewel, just to kind of throw something there, but I don't know. You, when you really think about it, what about the people that's been there for years? Don't they deserve an opportunity before Logan Paul? But who knows? <laughs> That's just my opinion on it. In my third match, I'm facing Roman Reigns, the tribal chief, one of the best in the WWE, and one of the best wrestlers, superstars of all time. So thank you. I appreciate third you. Third match. And I promise on November 5th in Saudi Arabia, I am going to deliver a performance unlike anything you've ever seen before. I think he's going he's gonna to show out, but he's not this winning. This is what I do. This is what me and my brother do. <laughs> I'm a Roman life. I attack at the top. I welcome any challenge and I overcome all of them in some way, shape, or form. After I fought Floyd, I said in my post-fight speech, I don't want anyone to tell me that anything is impossible because you're witnessing me do that right now. Any challenge, any time someone says I can't do something. I will say this about Logan, bro. You gotta, you gotta admire their business mindset, bro. My man started from YouTube. My man started from YouTube. And now he has one of the best podcasts in the world. He eats, bro, he's fought Floyd Mayweather. He's about, he's in WWE. He's been at WrestleMania. And now he's about to fight for the damn championship of the WWE. That's, that, it's crazy. The power of social media, the power that, the youth has is is undeniable, man. And and I, I love to see this where someone is making a way that they traditionally wouldn't be able to, but they are. You know, I can respect that about the Paul brothers. I step up to the plate. My brother is fighting Anderson Silva a week before I take on Roman Reigns That's crazy. in Saudi Arabia. There's no duo doing this. This is simply what we do. My second boxing opponent of all time was Floyd Mayweather, and yeah. he could not take me out, and I am not even a boxer. <laughs> Understand something. I have been wrestling my whole life. Mm. This is my sport. This is my industry. It took me a little while to find it. I didn't know he had some am I know 
J- Jake has amateur boxing, like boxing like skills. So he he used to take amateur boxing. I didn't know if Logan used to do amateur wrestling. Let me know if that's true or not. As I came of age, <laughs> as an entertainer, sight. as a performer, I kind of found my home in the WWE. And that's why I called out the GOAT immediately. It's what I do. And Roman Reigns, you might be the tribal chief. You might be the head of the table. And this might be your sport. But Crown Jewel is my match. Just like I said on my podcast, Crown Jewel, November 5th, Saudi Arabia is my match. Roman Reigns, you are the head of the table. But brother, in every industry I ever do, I am the table. <laughs> yes! This has got to be in the promo show vid or Botchamania vid. Yes! He said, I am the table. Yes! Um, I'm good. I'm good. I just need to hear that part. I am the table, man. Yes! I can't wait to the next promo show and Botchamania episode. Yes! And Roman Reigns will acknowledge me on November 5th. Woo! <laughs> Roman's like... Sammy Zane says yes! Questions from the uh, press who's assembled today uh, for both Roman and Logan. Oh, man. Please introduce yourself and ask the question. All right, I'm probably going to skip through here. Oh, I'm going to see what Paul Heyman has to say. And either way, this will be a performance you have never seen through. before. Trust me, Roman Reigns, I see you. Not paying attention. Keep that energy up and see what happens. Keep underestimating me. Keep playing me off, and you will pay for it. I promise you. I want to see what uh, Paul Heyman has to say. Cool, cool, cachoo the walrus. The tribal chief wants to thank everybody for coming out here today. We're going to kind of call an impromptu close to this press conference because it's about time that people understand the difference between someone that has dedicated his entire life to the greatness that stands before you Friday nights on SmackDown and a stunt fighter. Oh. Someone who built his reputation on YouTube, calling out people way past their prime and Ooh. just trying to hold on till the end of the fight. Ooh. I don't need you to va- validate what I'm saying. In other words, STF you, please. Oh. Okay? And the same goes for you. It's time that you take your supermodel girlfriend and your TikTok account and your Instagram account and your Twitter account and YouTube your ass on out of Press Vegas. conference? Hey, Roman, why is your mouthpiece talking for you? You said four words and you're standing behind him. Oh. Why don't you oh. stand up and say something? Oh. Oh. Doing, oh. Sit your ass down. I couldn't be I couldn't be at this press conference because you know what I'm saying I I I get with Roman you know what I'm saying like hey you got cuckoo cuckoo walrus over here talking for you but where you at champ where you at champ I, I, I they probably have to kick me off I start saying some choice words now nah, you a bitch you a pussy <laughs> I see great six of you. you. Greatness standing before you, the GOAT, the greatest of all time, and I'm here right now to save your ass. Oh. Leave <laughs> while you can, because the beating that Roman Reigns put on you won't be the easy time that Floyd Mayweather gave you. Oh. I love this. He's not my boy, he's my tribal chief. He's <laughs> my tribal chief. He yeah. <laughs> What's up? Ooh! Ooh! <laughs> I love it! I love it! <laughs> hey, Roman wouldn't have pushed me like that, boy. I was slave. Hey, man. 
Logan, come on, bro. you gotta come with it. He pushed me like I'm, I'm shoving him back. We gonna go. I don't care if it is six of y'all against me. <laughs> ah, this is good. <laughs> I love this. I love this, bro. I love this. This is nice. This is cool, bro. <laughs> I still think it would probably be better if it was somebody else. But at the same time, I'm liking this press conference. No, he said, don't touch me, bro. Come on, Logan. I'm like, hey, bro, it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I would have shoved him back. I would have gave him the meanest shove. <laughs> yeah, I would have gave him the meanest shove, bro. Don't, don't touch me. Come on, bro. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, it is official. Saturday, Roman say November shit, 5th. Bro. He's just looking Riyadh, at him with the same expression like, WWE bro, Crown this is Jewel, not the smoke you want. Where Roman Reigns will defend the WWE universe. I definitely would have been like, yo, I'm, you know I'm going to make you my bitch, right? <laughs> you know I'm going to make you my personal bitch, right? I'm... I'm talking trash. <laughs> Undisputed championship. This is great, man. Against Logan Paul. <laughs> what? Oh my god. He <laughs> hasn't said a word. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is great, bro. <laughs> Roman has not moved. And <laughs> he just sitting there like, bro, I'm going to give you the beats. <laughs> That's the I'm going to give you the beats face, bro. Oh, I love this, bro. I love this. Oh, man. That was great, bro. That was great. I enjoyed that. That was fun. <laughs> oh, man. Roman just kept it simple. He let it be known, bro. You you swimming with the shark split, boy. You about to get your ass beat. <laughs> I'm still... The only thing I'm, I have mixed, decision, uh, mixed feelings on... It's the fact that it is Logan. And I think you you give this match to somebody else. I don't know why they think this is... I mean, it, it could be... I think I know why. Obviously, because Logan Paul is a is a polarizing, uh, I guess you can say, athlete. Where people want to see him get his ass kicked. But what he's been doing in WWE has actually been surprising a lot of people. And it makes sense if his brother's fighting a week before and then he his other, you know, he's going to fight Roman, you know, that next week. It, it makes sense from a, a a money standpoint. The the Paul brothers are going to be going at it. People want to see Jake get his ass beat. And people are going to want to see <laughs> Logan get his ass beat. But I do think they're going to have a really... Uh, a surprisingly good match I i'm willing to bet they're gonna have a surprisingly good match it is a fresh matchup but i just feel like for the wwe championship this needs to be somebody else in my opinion when we all look back at it we'll think okay they had a good match but when it comes to all the people that roman has beaten it's like okay you put logan paul on the list it's like all right i mean this will be his third match so it's not much you can really too much get into uh when you're talking about just the ranking of all the opponents that roman has beaten but honestly I'm, I'm on the fence on it i think it will be good wrestling it just depends on how they build this up they have until they have a long time to build this up so 
Um, it'll be interesting to see what they do from now all the way to November. How will things raise in anticipation? How they build it up, man. But comment down below. Let me know. Are you guys looking forward to their match? Um, uh, at Crown Jewel, did you guys enjoy this press conference? Who do you think will win? I mean, it's obviously probably going to be Roman. It makes only this, the best sense for Roman to win. Um, and do you guys think Logan deserves this match opportunity so quickly in his WWE wrestling career? But I appreciate all the love and support. Road to 100K. Appreciate y'all kicking with me. See y'all next one. Peace.